Hi, Catholic Match. Welcome back to today's video. My name is Sarah. And if you're new here, we make content about all things dating and relationships. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts because we have some really interesting <laughs> topics that we're going to go over today. Last week, I went over on our IG, which if you don't follow us over on there, you definitely should at Catholic Match. And I hosted a mini Q&A on our stories and asked three questions. So super simple, nothing too big about the dating world. One question was directed to men, one was directed to women, and the third one was directed to everybody. And I compiled those questions here and I wanted to go over them with you because they provide a lot of clarity, especially the questions that men had to answer and then the ones that women had to answer. I have been to singles events before where it is so helpful to just pull your answers and to see what other people are saying. If you feel the same way, maybe it's completely new information for you. The end goal though is just further clarity about a very what can be vague world of dating. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go through these three questions and how you guys sent in your answers. Um, the first observation I have is I thought it would be like a 10 to one response of women responding versus men responding. And men, I'm very proud of you. You guys actually sent in a decent amount of responses, not more than the women. Um, and it's because I suspect women are just way more able and willing to like sit on those stories and give those answers and like take the time and type it in. But I was very proud of you guys for sending in just as many answers or almost as many answers as the women. I couldn't even come up with the ratio. So there was, the competition was, was good. Um, so men, I asked you, what is one thing you wish women knew about dating? And the answers you gave were really interesting. The first one that I saw, and I have compiled ones that I saw many times, many times over, because a lot of you said the same thing, was I wish women would give it a chance. They get in their head with doubts early and often. And I totally see this and I feel this. And I think it's because there's so much pressure on making the relationship marriage worthy right away and not just completely skipping the dating phase and just getting super serious super quickly that you know all that pressure doubts come so men you want women to know that you wish women would give it more of a chance and i think that there's something that we as women can really sit with that uh, be clear about your intentions. This is something that's really interesting and we'll get to this when we go to the women's side, but women, you guys said the same thing. Everyone wants clear intentions. I know it's cool or it seems cool or it's more convenient to not say like, hey, I'd actually really like to know specifically where we stand with no vagueness at all. And it's a lot easier to say, oh, I don't know what we are, or we're not into labels, or we're just talking, and I'm not interested in finding out anything more than that. And that's just truly not how we feel, and these answers are revealing that. All right, the third largest thing, actually one person sent this in, and I thought that it was very worthy of mentioning, because I thought it was hilarious. Wear religious bracelets and jewelry so we can spot y'all more easily out in public. I think that speaks to the difficulty I think that we all experience in that we don't even know who the other person is or where they are. Like it's a, it's a vast sea of people. And how do we identify ourselves besides on Ash Wednesday when we get the cross on our forehead? Um, maybe how can you wear your little Ash cross every day to let other people know that you are Catholic and that you are interested in dating? <laughs> Okay, the next answer, we are not as sensitive as you, so please tell us the truth if we are guilty. No silent treatment, please. I thought this was really interesting. I think it kind of speaks for itself. Sometimes, again, 
I think again and again, clarity is the answer. Guys aren't always after sex. I think that's a really good thing to point out as well. Something that maybe is easy to assume and something that multiple guys sent in, by the way, for something they want women to know is that guys aren't always after sex. And just because you're dating doesn't mean you will be married. And I do find this, we talked about this at the beginning, that it can be really difficult for both men and women to fall into the like, we need we need to get serious super quick and super fast because, hi, I need to get married in nine months. Um, and that's just something that's, I think, really interesting and good to know. Flipping over to the women and one thing you wish men knew about dating, there are a lot of answers, again, that overlap. So here are just a few that I picked out. Number one, that women like to know where they stand. Again, you guys, this is just a different way of saying, I don't mean it when I say I'm okay with vagueness and I really just want clarity. Um, actions mean more, more than pretty words. Actions mean more than words in general. I think especially with dating, being intentional, being clear, validating, being honest, following through, like letting your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Actions mean more than pretty words. We like it when you plan our dates. That's good to know, right? Don't waste weeks on texting just for the sake of having more options. I think that this is something both sides are probably guilty of. I don't think it's just the men that are guilty of doing this, but I think it's interesting that it was brought up. And this is kind of funny, but I don't need to see you holding a fish to prove that you're a man who can provide. Are there men holding fish in their profile picture on Catholic Match? Men, can you let me know in the comments? Are you, do you have a picture of you holding a fish? I, this was news to me and it was uh, two different people that sent in a comment like that. So you guys need to let me know. And hey, as a message, no go. Women don't want it. They want something where you're picking out something from the profile to comment on and just going straight in, which again, I just think it's another ask for intentionality and for clarity. The third question that I asked, I said, complete this sentence. One thing I wish people would stop doing in dating. And can you guess the number one thing, like sitting there and scrolling for the same exact answer over and over and over again? Ghosting. One thing I wish people would stop doing in dating, ghosting. Number two was ghosting and then coming back. So I assume like take ghosting and then weeks, months later, coming back and messaging them again. Um, ghosting is easy. It's super easy. It doesn't require any honesty or uncomfortable moments or vulnerability. And so I can, I see why we all do it. But all of you also agree that it's the one thing you wish people would stop doing in dating. The third thing, so there was ghosting and then there was ghosting and then coming back. The third thing was both expecting the other person to read your mind, be intentional and upfront with them. We should just start a count like in the corner or something of how many times I'm gonna say this word. We just want intentionality. We just want clarity. Everybody, not just men, not just women. Everybody wants it. Uh, breadcrumbing, we, just like stringing people along. We just, a lot of you answered. I don't want these like little glimmers of hope. I want either consistency or for it to be cut off. Not being clear about their standards. I think this was super interesting because I also saw it hooked a lot with not being clear about their faith beliefs and like where they stand. As a Catholic, how much are you practicing? How much does your faith matter to you? Where is it playing a role in your life right now? We all go through ups and flows, ups and downs, moments of desolation and, you know, moments of consolation. Where are you right now on all of that? Um, 
And it doesn't mean you're going to be there forever. But to just be clear about where you are, same thing with standards. Is it a standard for you that you need the man to plan every single date? That is something you're clear about. Is it a standard for you that you need the woman to communicate your feelings and absolutely no silent treatment? That is something you need to be upfront about. Just these little ways of of being intentional. I'm going to say it again. And being clear. Uh, thinking that getting married... Oh, I thought this was very interesting. Thinking that getting married outside of the church is the same thing as being married in it. I saw this kind of as a, a branch off of conveying your understanding of where you are within the faith and where you are within your belief. Um, marriage outside of the church is different from marriage within the church because marriage within the church is completely enveloped in the 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 sacrament that it's treated as within the church and there's not a whole lot of sacrament talk <laughs> in secular marriage and if that's really important to you then those are not the same thing and that's something that needs to definitely be communicated within a relationship and then the last main answer that i got was if you're not sure about someone please let them go I think this goes along with maybe ghosting and breadcrumbing. Like all of these things, they all intertwine. They all matter and touch and, um, you know, push and pull on each other. These are all, all the same issues that we're all dealing with in the dating world. We're all in the same world. And I don't think you're as alone in your frustrations as you think you are. And I think that hopefully in bringing these answers to light that we can better understand the other person, better understand the dating world, and then we can enter into that of, yes, ghosting may be the easiest thing or it's just exhausting to end yet another relationship, but I'm truly over it and it's awkward and maybe it's embarrassing or maybe you're worried the other person is going to get angry, but now it's good to know that they feel the exact same way. And that, yeah, it might suck to get broken up with or it might suck to end the relationship, but anything's better than ghosting. With that, let me know if you would add something. If you missed my Q&A over on IG and you want me to do more, maybe I can ask different questions. You guys could send in different questions you want me to ask. You want me to crowdsource <laughs> answers for people. Everyone was really responsive. So let me know what you guys think. And make sure that you're following us here on YouTube and over on IG because this content's going to keep coming and we're going to keep talking about all things dating relationships. That being said, my name is Sarah and I will see you guys in the next video.